Woo-hoo. Yeah, Woosh Boosh, episode 23. I never remember the episode. So I I'm know. glad for that announcement beforehand. Thank you very much. Yes, and we remembered it on our own today, huh? You remembered it on your own Oh, I did today. without John Jones. Oh, yes, <laughs> right, thank you. He, Let me say shots out to John. Thank you. He'll appreciate it. John, thank <laughs> you for keeping us on our P's and Q's. Yes. our T's and dot and our I's. Because John Jones be on, y'all. He be like, uh-uh, you had on this color, and Sienna had on this, and episode this is missing, baby. Yes, and we need to know all of that, so thank you. Stealing. Do you know what? <laughs> Damn, stealing. Is it John Jones like an MMA fighter, like the like the real is John Jones? Rashad. Rashad Jones? No, there's a John. Who's a John Jones, though? Is this some type of John Jones fighter or something, no? I have no idea. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. Cool. It is. MMA, black dude tall. He ain't no joke. Then he ain't... He, Yes, he's no. When I was really on my MMA, nah, he's tall. No, they got the you know the I little mean, ones, the lean, the, the lean yes, ones. Yeah, definitely. I mean, not like yes, yeah, skin. Yeah, that's John Jones. He's shh, he ain't nobody joke man. Mm-hmm, he okay. nice. I don't think he like us though. Um, or, I think he like vanilla. So go that's ahead. Something I saw when I was driving <laughs> to you, um, this guy and I, I like okay. I'm, mm-hmm. We're gonna have to digress a couple of times. Okay, but it was a guy like you know in East Orange. They all coming off that train mm-hmm. and they're like going to the new buildings on Harrison. If anybody yes. from Essex County, you know I'm from Harrison. Buildings. Yeah. So they they redid all them buildings and stuff. So that's where the white folk live now in East Orange. Yeah, really speaking, is yep. on that block. So they get to the train and get to home and go right back and forth and don't go nowhere else in our neighborhoods at all. That's right. what they do. Right, they go back to New York to party and do everything they're doing, and then they just live here because it's cheaper. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, it was a guy strapping, tall, j- chocolate, nice looking man. Okay. Of course, as I'm <clears> driving <throat> down, Excuse he's me. like arm doing all of this. It's a white girl. And, you know, it is it is what it is. But and it definitely makes me feel a way sometimes initially. But that's why I said I need to digress. I definitely have been listening to this somebody I just got put on to. Her name is um, Florence Scoville Shin. I don't mm-hmm. know if you ever heard of her. But she's basically like a metaphysical teacher. Okay. She was in like the, I don't know, 1920s, 30s, 40s, that time period. And she wrote several books. Okay. And one of the books that um, I've been listening to them, I'm going to actually purchase them. So I have a copy. But the main one was The Game of Life and How to Play It. Mm-hmm. And it's so, so good. But she gives you all these different affirmations. And one of them is if you have jealousy or mm. resentment. Mm. And I, you know... That, to me, is a time of resentment when I see that. Yeah. I don't want to feel any emotions. Right. Like anybody with anybody. Right. Like I don't want to feel anything. Okay. Right. Purple, white, black, whatever. So, she says, um, the, what is the affirmation? Like, um, God gives this to one and gives, and God gives this, gives, gives this to one and to me and more. Yeah. Mm. God gives this to one and to me and more. Okay. So I like that affirmation. That's what I said over and over again in my mind. That's really good <laughs> that you said that. Yeah, because I need to work that out. I don't want to care. It makes me feel a way, but I don't want to care. You said God hey, gives to you and more. God gives to me and more. God gives to one. One. <clears throat> and me and more. Okay. God that, gives to one and me and more. That's yeah. so um, yeah. great that you're saying that because honestly, this week... I had a little uh, hiccup, I guess, because somebody tried to come back in my past or whatever. But um, not just that. I am constantly um, getting, like, signs and seeing where I'm in alignment. And um, the thing that has been in my head, like, my motto is, even when it's bad, it's good. Mm -hmm. That really resonates with me. It really does. And um, the other one was, everything that's mine is for others. I love you. Uh, hi. Hi, how are you? Yes, everything that's mine, it's for others. So, because I'm going to always have abundantly. Hi, how are you? I'm going to always have, um, get things in abundance. Absolutely. Whether it's love, whether it's uh, things that are tangible, mm-hmm. whatever it is, I'm always going to have things in abundance because I am so blessed. I really am. Mm-hmm. And where my problem is, is what I would do is, I would feel at times that, dang, I did this and they're not even going to do this or whatever. And not even realizing how I'm getting blessed in so many other ways. Oh, yeah. So That's just because, it, you know, I'm not getting it this way and I have a point because this is the way. No, no, no. 
stop worrying about how I'm, where I'm getting it from or what it should be and it's just be blessed with what I'm getting because the minute I start to think like that, yeah. I get a call or something in the mail or always, instantaneously. And I had a problem with not recognizing it and just still being stuck, stuck on a point. So... I've pretty much released that, but every now and then it does sneak up on me. That and feeling. Even in that book, again, I'm telling you, you got to listen to it, Tamika. But okay. one of the things that, um, two words that she talks about in terms of prosperity or wanting money and feeling that way is crammed and jammed. She says that about your wallet, that you mm. should always think those two words, crammed mm. and jammed. That is crammed and jammed with money. And I okay. like that. I okay. really, those two words, they stick with me. So anytime I feel lack, Yes. Then immediately that comes in. Crammed and jammed. My, my wallet is crammed and jammed. There's no oh, yeah. Enough. Oh, yeah. Always. I have it already. To me flow. Right. Exactly. I just don't have access to it right now. That's it. It's mine. It's just like, you know what? I have an account, right? That every two weeks, they take it about 3% out of my check. Mm -hmm. I don't even check the balance. The, the My bank is like somewhere in New... Pro it's a credit union. It's in New Providence, New Jersey. I recently got a, a debit card for it, but I don't even use it because mm -hmm. there's nowhere that I could use it that's compatible with my uh, credit union so they charge these ridiculous, ridiculous fees. fees. So it's just... The money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's just... A, um, it's discipline. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even though I don't have it right now, I don't even... I can't even get to it that quick because by the time I get out of work, X, Y, Z, yeah. I just don't have access to it. So sometimes me too, when I think of lack, I'm like, you know what? If anything was to happen, I'm just the good. worst. I'm always I can good. always run there. And I don't even check the balance because once I do, I'm going to be like, oh, you know what? Let me take this out. I can yeah, put it back yeah, in. Yeah. So it's really discipline. It's really for emergency reasons or or when it's time for me to invest in something. You know, I say I, I don't have to maybe go to the bank and if it's for a small amount or whatever, you know. Yeah. But yeah, crammed and jammed. I like right. that. I like that. that. Um, yeah, I, it's funny because I just was trying to find out like just doing best practices, making better habits for myself. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of money, I was trying to figure out, like, I Googled how many times a day do millionaires check their accounts? Mm. And because I just, you know, I we need to start adopting those habits if that's what you believe that you are. 100. So um, it's a lot. They check it a lot. They First do? First thing in the morning, like, so they know what's going on. In their yeah. Account. So for me, that's a okay. <laughs> I don't want to put my business out there, but sometimes that's a scary place to go and look at my oh, account. I, I've avoided mine before. because I'll be like, uh, 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 I don't yeah. know, something might pop up, something yeah. might not. Like, let me see that. For and sure. um, now it's forcing me. Since I saw that, now every yeah. morning I'm like, fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm you know what? It, it doesn't, doesn't make... matter. I feel good. I'm fine. Everything's always working out for me. Yeah. And I just move on. But it I, makes you more responsible and more accountable because I'll more, look and I'll be like, really? I spent that money uh -huh. on that and my shit it's at the top will tell me how much I spent in a week yeah like oh, really? right away like if you spent 400 I'm like really man, I spent 400 and then you start thinking like on what exactly <laughs> now you gotta run all that shit back it's just like with the phone I appreciate the phone <laughs> being like uh, you know tell you how much screen time you're using or whatever oh so it does did, mine does yeah okay. if you do more than you did before like it'll tell me like I love that two hours more this week than before and that yeah. freaks me out like yeah. oh no, no spending no, no. too much time to get off this phone and it tells you like is it entertainment was it work mm -hmm. was it like you know what I mean Something I like, like that. that so I need that I need something yeah, like that I have all these things yeah I gotta look for that that's cool I like mm -hmm. that a lot um we yeah talk about it. We know we talk about it. what's that which one uh, oh Chad we have to no, 100%. Yeah. So, um... I just don't want us to forget. I'm not saying we would forget, but you know what I mean. No, it could have... Yeah, definitely, because you didn't write it down. Right. Um, you know, it's really sad. I, I, I don't... I don't want to say it's sad, right? But... Mm -hmm. I'm going to start off like this. Somebody put a post up, and I thought it was so good about it. And then I'll start getting into whatever mm -hmm. else. But it says, shout out to Chad Bowen, Bo, Bozeman's team. Mm -hmm. That in four years, nobody ever leaked his business. Yeah. Do you know how... Listen. Do you know that when Kim Kardashian first had North mm -hmm. and she wouldn't show anybody North, what she did was spread out four pictures, put them out there mm -hmm. to they, her friend, some of her friends to say, hey, this is the baby. And she gave pictures, different pictures to everyone in her team. And out of the four pictures, three people linked them to the inquiry and everything. Yeah. And it wasn't even her baby. She was able to tell which one because she knew which yeah, picture she gave the baby to. Smart girl. That's a smart, smart move. That smart move. real smart. Just she like Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un, no matter how evil he is, he faked his death to get rid of people. He found out who was the weak ones in his Absolutely. team. And this man didn't have any weak ones in his team. And this is what I was going to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to continue with that. Um, that was what it was about the Chad Bozeman leads to 
when you're recreating your circle and you're visioning things and wanting things just like money, whatever, I'm visioning new, these new friendships. Mm. And I manifested, and we're going to go back to Chad Bozeman before I get yeah, into this topic. Yeah. Friends like that. Yeah. With, that can hold on to your secrets mm -hmm. because they, they cherish your friendship. Yeah. Not so much. And not only that, they really love, that's love it's, and loyalty. It's respect. It's like, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's respect. It it's love, loyalty. loyalty, and respect. Because your best friends could talk about you. It don't mean they're evil. They could vent to the wrong person or whatever. We're human. Yeah. You know, it happens. Everybody does things that they, that they might have not have um, acted in their best way, let's say. And you got to say to yourself, damn, maybe I shouldn't have said that or whatever. But Definitely. shout out to his team. Um, Continue, and then I'll piggyback with you oh, off no. the chat. All I wanted to say <laughs> is, you know, it's just, it's just, ter it's just terrible. It's just 20, terrible. 2020. Yeah, like, I don't mm. even know... I was Numb. asleep. I took a whole, I took a nap and I woke up and he, everybody was posting chat week. And I'm like, what <laughs> is going on? Like yeah. what? And then to see it is just unbelievable. I mean, it shows that, um, you know, 40 y'all, let's just make 40 the number for everybody to check on our shit. Let's not yeah. wait until 50 because that was the thing that everybody kept saying underneath stuff like, oh, he was 43. They don't even advise men to start start doing those like colonoscopy yeah. things until they're 50, yeah. supposedly. Yeah. So yeah. Like, I don't know that. I didn't know that. I don't know the number for that. I know, I normally know 40 because that's when we got to get the mammograms and we got to, you know what I mean? All of that For stuff. sure. So unless like, you have, I'm sorry, yeah, unless no, no. you have pre-existing in your exactly, family. Exactly, you get all in. So, you know, in that respect. So I can, and I'm trying to think, my, my stepfather um, dealt with, I want to say he was stage three, wow. definitely colon uh, cancer. Colon cancer. And, and, the, and the sad thing is if you catch it early, you can be cured. Yeah, <laughs> he, um, I, all I remember, I, he, my stepfather's one of the people that just will not, say the whole truth to people because yeah. he thinks that he's protecting you yeah. know, the family, the women or whatever. And it's like, if you just let us know what's going on, like, yeah. then we can be more, you know, prepared and helpful or whatever it is. Yeah. And um, I know my mom, when they went in for the surgery, my mother was saying, oh, it's going to be like three or four hours. I think he was in there for eight hours. Wow. It was definitely like six to eight hours that my mom was there while he was in surgery for this, like, colon cancer. Wow. And um, I... We all believe in a family that it was much more further along than what he was letting us on. Sure. Tonight. You know what I'm sure. saying? Colin can't say no joke. Know, he went through the whole nine yards and thank goodness he, you know, survived. He's still here. Wow. Kicking, doing well. That man is, we don't always see eye to eye, but I will say he's a, a one of the strongest men that I know. That Willpower. I know, like, for real. It is <laughs> my body. shot, I don't know how many times, like, stabbed. Wow. <laughs> He has Prison, a purpose. I mean, he, a, a real ass pers purpose. A purpose. And you know what? Yeah. He's a Gemini. He's a Gemini. And his They're energy, special. oh my gosh, they're so special. Yeah, like, they're like unicorns, man. I like, his energy is one of those where if he comes into the room, he either like sucks it out or adds it all in. It's like yeah. one or the other. He comes yeah. in and it's like, oh shit, what's wrong with it? Like, don't nobody say nothing. Everybody like skedaddles out the house real fast. Or he come in and he's like, hey, and everybody like, oh, party. You know, I'm like, right. it's literally one or the other. Yeah, it's, no. It's, it's so, yeah. I lived with the Gemini gems dinner all my life. Gems are gems. <laughs> you have to, you know what Especially they, the men. I think it's different the with the women because I don't know. I, I, I just don't deal with the women in the same way, I, I guess. I don't either. And the women are always cool with me. Like, my grandma was a Gemini. Like, they're always super fly with me. The guys, mm. somehow, I don't know what it is, but we always end up butting heads. I'm right. developing. You know what's crazy? I never really trusted Gemini women. Mm. Um, I don't know how to say, mm, how can I say it? When they're operating from their... Well, I, I don't have a whole lot of experiences with Gemini women. Yeah. But every Gemini woman that I have experienced, maybe I'll say three mm -hmm. throughout my life really strongly. Um, what? Huh? I, 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 oh, I can't forget. Okay, See? no, right. <laughs> I'm trying to th The no. Gemini women I'm cool No, just, yeah, I get what? it The men Rhonda, Rhonda sometimes Doesn't act like a Gemini to me She reminds me of a Taurus but to me That's the how women the are women different. are That's what I'm saying The women yeah. The women I never know If they're Gemini That's yeah, true Like I never know That the women are Gemini I remember and having And they say like Oh I'm a Gemini You're like really? Oh we yeah. get along Why? That's yeah. interesting I had a yeah. Gemini When I was a younger friend Who I didn't like um, I don't think I had a reason then, but yeah, it really is the men. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't really have too many encounters. Put it this way: the last falling out that I had with a woman that was uh, a female was a Gemini, and mm. a lot. I think you know what, and I guess that that goes for any woman. I don't know, but maybe it's heightened with my experience. 
Um, a Gemini woman that doesn't really have her shit together, let's yeah. say, um, is a, for me anyway, is a um, is a cold person. Mm. I find a lot of envy. I, I found that. Mm. See, Rhonda got her shit together. I've never... Rhonda is somebody I want to emulate in so many ways. It's, right. If you can make, if, if it's something you can make money out of it, she's going to make money out of it. That's you know? what's up. You know, she's just, right? And Rhonda, and Rhonda gives to everyone. If you are around her, she just want to see, she genuinely wants to see you at the top. Yeah. Like, so there, again, oh, just um, alignment, I guess. Um, these are the friendships that I want to develop. And I think I'm developing them. You I are. think I'm, yeah, I am. I think I'm developing them. And it scares me. And I get emotional sometimes because, gosh, Lee, I'm going to tell you this. I've been through more with females than men. Mm. I've been through some shit with men, but it's almost like you expect that out of men. Isn't that sad? Yeah. You know, it's like you expect them to That's fuck up. You expect, but with the girls, you'd be like, you're so loyal. You're so this. You'd be like, you snaking me and I'm helping. God damn, that I'm shit crushes me. I'm particular about women. I'm not a. Yeah, now I'm I not am. A, I've never been like a. Oh, we go, oh girl. Well, I've never yeah. really been like. I'm just not like that in general. Period. Let's say that. Right. And then on top of that, with uh women, it's always been a little finicky with me and yeah. women. Like they just funny style a lot yeah. of times. Like I, they do a lot of digs. Women do digs sometimes, mm-hmm. or you see them, you know, cutting their eye or saying a little slick stuff. Like they just do, and yeah. it's interesting. Well, that's been my experience, but not all women, of course. Yeah. But it's just been my experience over the years well, with women. So I'm always like, you know. No, I agree in a lot of ways. I think what happens is uh, what peace, I'm... Peace. You put something up, a, a really good post up about... And I and I reposted and I said, somebody used to ask God why he keep bringing me these broken people. But I, with, I think also with who I am, because I am the girl that a lot of girls want to be around, right? Well, I put it this way, like growing up and shit like that because I just think, mm-hmm. not, not think, let me stop saying think because I know who the fuck I am. I know that I'm a leader, right? And whatever I'm supposed to lead or whatever I'm supposed to do and in my life, I've never been a follower. Like I created groups and people came with me and I've created things and you know, that type of thing. And it's not like, oh, look at me. No, it's more so. I just think it's my energy and people, if they find you to be nice or cool, they mm-hmm. they attract to you if you're, if you're um, approachable or open. Right. That's a gift and a curse though because, um, I attract the wrong people. They, they're a wolf in sheep's clothing sometimes. Yep. And I can be a little naive to the fact because I see that I do see the best in everyone mm-hmm. initially. But I have to have, that's where my balance, this is where I'm teetering a little bit on a seesaw because um, even though I see the good in everybody, and that's a good um, trait to have. Everybody ain't good. Exactly. And that's just the reality. No exactly. matter how much I want to, you know, look at them in that way. And because I ignore red flags a lot yeah. with female, with, with dudes, I'm on it. Like, uh-uh. Yeah. uh-uh. But with females, I'm like, well, she's been hurt. And she's now where I am in my life, I don't care what you've been through. It's so funny. I think I'm the, Unless, I'm the opposite. I think I'm actually the opposite As far of as what? Like, I'll say this much, right? Mm-hmm. I'm definitely not a person that we just all lovey-dovey first go round or whatever. Yeah. But I do give people that I care for, particularly men, mm-hmm. far more opportunities than I do women. I know that I do. Like, okay. I, I've seen, I'll see way more red flags. Oh, I see that you with see women. No, but like, I see that with women right, a lot, right. for the most part. Because, I know that I give, I give red flags, yeah. like, several red flags yeah. to men way more than I would a, a woman. Yeah. Like, a woman, you, we don't get but along, that, or and, cross, or whatever. It's like, and that, right, Bye, okay. baby. And that's where I have um, problems with my friendships. Mm. Okay? Because um, I am... I really love unconditionally. That's just who I am. I don't really have conditions on my love. And it's so far, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. One of the reasons why I got locked up was by my was by a so-called best friend. Okay? When I was in Atlanta. Mm. Uh, shut up. We're going to get a little open right now. Um, yeah. Was because somebody was running their mouth. Thank God, again... Yo, God, um, universe be good to me because I, I really feel like my purpose is needed on this earth. Whatever, however, this is gonna come to fruition. But um, I met somebody in there and she helped me out. Her mother was a we're gonna leave, whatever. Mm-hmm. But um a best friend put me in jail mm-hmm. um over just betrayal, mm-hmm. disloyalty, mm-hmm. and I still forget. And it took me some time. I still forgave that person eventually because I knew that person was not operating out of their self, out of themselves. Now it doesn't mean that they were right for what they do, for what they did. But I noticed that 
Uh, my mother and I've been getting really closer to my mother lately too I just saw a yeah. post saying like when you get older like your mom is like your best friend man we we really because yeah. it wasn't always that and it's just really but um, I always noticed my mother was a good friend mm -hmm. she really was like a good friend and I want to be that to others but I I'm, I'm, I want that back in my life because Absolutely. what I've noticed with my friends their men could put them through the ringer mm -hmm. they could do the unthinkable but let me do something little I ain't effing your man I'm not I'm not Stealing from me. I'm not, I'm not doing nothing detrimental. We're going mm. through girl shit. And a girl will throw me away in a heartbeat. Mm. In a heartbeat. Don't talk. Don't work it out or whatever. And I'm starting to notice from a clairvoyant and from my therapist as well, but at the time, um, that a lot of the females that I did attract really put me on this unforeseen pedestal. Mm. Like, I think also a lot of... One of my girlfriends came out to me and told me that... I'm like, why didn't you tell me that? And they put me on this thing because I don't carry myself in certain ways, but I've never judged. Mm -hmm, I don't mm -hmm. care. Whatever you do is you do. I'm going to always speak to you like a sister. If I feel like you're doing something down, a, like going down a rabbit hole, I'm going to talk to you. And if you can't accept that, it's going to be hard for us to be friends because I don't know what type of friend I could be to. Do you want me to be a fan? Yeah. And just sit here and just cheer you on and just laugh because, you know, let me just laugh with you because it's laugh. Or... Or do I see after a while, like, damn, she did this like 50 times. Let me kick it off. Because I love you. Yeah. And I'm not, you're not allowing me to be a real friend. So it's like they put me on this unforeseen pedestal. Like, I'm this perfect person. They don't want me to judge them. They don't, like, don't, I'm not judging you. And I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? I've done my shit. You might do your shit in certain ways. But I know what I did in this world yeah. in certain ways by hopping on greyhounds and stuff. I wasn't doing good in the earth. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, just, it's just, <laughs> it's just that. Some people idolize certain sins more than they idolize another. Yeah. Look, are you, you are you accept them? You accept, you accept them. Accept it's, yeah, it seems more, more risky. Oh, she used to be on a groundhound, greyhound pushing weight and doing all this other shit. And that's not something I'm really proud of. Right. It's good for a movie and a story. Right. But in my life, yeah. that's not my biggest accomplishment. That's not even something I really like talking about like right, that. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, what are we saying? <laughs> um, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. Women in friendship. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Interesting all yeah. the time. Yeah, men in friendship is interesting too because you know it's it's a blessing yeah. to have a great friend in general. But it's really really awesome to have a good male friend that is also not trying to fuck you. Oh, I love that. Like when you They're have those good oh, friends. Yes. When we can like kick it, yes. chill, talk. Yes. I can get the real information from you from a male's perspective. Yes. You can get it from my perspective. Like that's the. It's like such a great friendship. It's it is. such a really, it's a blessing. It yes. Really does. Yes. It really, really does. It and really does. when you have a male friend that's not trying to sleep with you, mm -hmm. what happens is sometimes with us women, when we when men say how they are, or oh, in a relationship or what it's my you like, whatever, and you and you could you might cut them down, right? Me and myself say, but why would you think like that? It allows you, when a man is not trying to fuck you, to listen, like, listen, this is just how men are. We're not yeah. saying it's right or wrong. And it helps you to understand and know how you can proceed. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Can I deal with this? Oh, you don't know, my, maybe I'll approach it this way. So, yeah, it's refreshing because at the end of the day, we're not men. And all of them can't be lying, no matter how crazy it sounds to us. Yeah. Teach you the game. Oh, it's so yeah. annoying. It's very this um <laughs> Stephen Williams on Instagram says women are in constant competition. Um, I've never been in competition. Yeah, I that's the thing. You. I don't know about that. I've never been in competition with my friends. People I'm have been in competition gonna, with me. I'm not going to say that that's not true because just competition is competition. Yeah. And I'm, I'm only saying that's not, I don't know if I can go along with that because I think that people are in constant competition. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that just women are in constant competition because when you boil it down to like friendship, right? Mm -hmm. Most of us only as adults have one, two maybe a core group of friends that oh, ain't yeah. 15, 20 different people anymore right. when you was a kid. So Absolutely. normally people weed themselves out or you dismiss people or however it goes. And a lot of those people that you got rid of tended to have some sort of competitive edge with them nine times out of 10. Like the ones that stay are normally the ones that don't have that competition with you or that's the you truth. with them. You know that's what I'm the saying? Truth. That's the Whereas truth. Whereas the other ones probably did. And I see that with men as well. If now, to me, I could agree with that. If women only were the ones that had one, two friends and then men had, you know, 20, 30, 40 friends all the time. And that's not true. Right. Men are very particular as they get older into who their core group of homies are too. Oh, absolutely. So I don't think that it's just women that are in constant competition. I just think that, you know, emotionally, let's say that we do like, 
d- express ourselves differently. Whereas like men will maybe let it go or and or just not say anything and or maybe y'all fight it out and then you can let it go. You know what I'm saying? And move on from there. Like women don't really have that like... I think men are more honest. We don't that like F alpha... Even though we have alpha women or whatever, alpha female and stuff in our situations, we don't think of it as such, I would say. Whereas men, I feel like they have like a, a hierarchy system. I, I think men, already, it's natural. You know? I think for women, it comes... It's Okay, so put it this way. When being competitive, because comp- competition isn't always bad. It could be healthy competition. It could be friendly mm-hmm, competition. Mm-hmm. Your friend, it's a difference between, okay, I can go on Instagram and get inspired by women. I could go on the treadmill and somebody's next to me and that person don't even know I'm challenging them. Now yeah. I'm competing, but it's healthy. You understand? Now, when jealousy and envy lies mm-hmm, in your competition, mm-hmm. when you are obsessing basically about competing with me, when you're not even just happy for what I'm doing and in return, you can see your own gifts because, baby, you cannot compete where you don't compare. Mm -hmm. Your gifts are your gifts. Exactly. I'm not trying to compete with what you got. I can't. I understand. That's when you are one with yourself and understand the God that lives within you. Yes, that nobody cannot compete with your gifts. And and then, when you really discover that within yourself, I swear, nine times out of ten, all you can do is be happy for people. And I want to be what you doing? Because I always, like I say, if you see somebody next to me, they do something better than me. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not in competition with that. I need you to do something better than me. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to go up, 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 and I can't do it by myself. I don't, I can't get on in all them doors that some of them girls might get into. So while some girls are sitting on the sideline, mm-hmm. wasting time, because let me tell you something, when you do that, you're giving me your energy. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly, energy is energy, and I'm going to take that shit, I'm going to transfer it, and it's going to make, people don't realize when I see you in competition with me, I'm going to go hard and shit on your ass. Stop playing with me. You know, since you want to play, when I do have time, since you want to play, because this comes easy for me. You're doing something that comes easy for me. You're trying to do something that maybe is just not for you. Or go create your own lane, you know? Yeah. Um, I just or be inspired. people. I just don't even care. If I see, I see those types of things all the time with women and me, and it's so just, corny. I don't have, I just don't care. I don't care. I think that it's great for everybody to be who they are. You do what you want to do. I do what I want to do. And if Stay I ever do, yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's really the bottom line for Stay me. Stay on my like, way. Just don't, don't be sure I do things behind my, my back. Exactly. <clears throat> um, but I feel like, you know, to go back to the res- to the to to that affirmation I was look- using for resentment and jealousy, like sometimes social media can do that. Like it is oh, great. Sure. It's great. It's, sure. I, I definitely have friends or people that I watch on social media that are inspirational. Yes. 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 And then I definitely have had to take a full six-month break off of social media sure. because I was looking and not feeling like that's what's up. Yeah. For you, I'm feeling like, why am I not getting this for But me? you're not trying to be so, com- competitive either. No, that's a personal thing. I don't want to be competitive. Thing. It's right. just it's the fact that, like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> it's me, like, you know, just checking myself but I it's it's a comparison more than competitive yes. competition I felt and that's that bad. I comparison, felt that comparison you know I don't that's know that's the that. worst what's the I, there's a there's a, a a cliche or a saying about comparison if anybody's out there that remembers it please post it but yeah that that's the worst thing and that's really why I, ha- I have to take breaks on social media I've heard that plenty of times I start from... to compare myself too much yeah with certain girls yeah with certain bald girls all right. type of stuff you right. know I'm, no for real right like, that annoys me to, to but no I don't, end I've done when that I before. see other ball girls. I, like, I, it bothers really? me. Really? Well, I'm going to say this. Not to see other ball girls. Yeah. No, no, no. Let me make, let me be clear, right? It's more like, I don't really have no choice about being bald. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I see other women that like have a choice in it and they yeah. just shave it and I was like, oh, I'm bald too. It just annoys me a little bit because I'll be I like, I want to, I, I don't, I don't like looking like everybody else. And yeah. I know that I don't. I know that I'm different. I know like, yeah. nobody has to give me that. Please spare those type of speeches with me, please. Because <laughs> everybody want to say that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? No, when I, you start right. to say those words. Right. No, I like, get it. But anyway, it's it is. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like I don't, I just don't like to look like a lot of people. I don't want to look like other people. I don't want other people to look like me. I don't want to like. So how do you work through that? Hair stuff, whatever. I just this world I just is keep a li- billion people. I just keep living. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just keep living. There's nothing I can do about it. it no, you can. I'm is. saying you can work through where you don't feel those feelings. That's what I'm saying. I like, mean, well, yeah. I'm, and a part of that to me is just moving forward yeah. and working through. There's nothing that I could do with but it saying, at the damn, moment. She a bad bitch too. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, if she is, sure. I'll give yeah. I give credit where credit is due. Yeah. I'm not a person that says somebody's attractive just to be 
polite, polite or kind. Right. If I find no, you that's nice. It's a different. I pol- <laughs> if I if I find you attractive, I, I think you're beautiful or whatever, <laughs> and you look great with the ball head and all that type of stuff. I will totally say that. And mm-hmm. I, again, there's still no competition. Yeah. In that, I don't think that I'm less of a beautiful bald girl because you are now bald as well. Right. It's more like I just don't want to look like a rack of bitches. Yeah. Like somebody just texts me. Yesterday, matter of fact, hey, were you in D.C.? I can show you the text message right now. Hey, were you in D.C. this weekend? Yeah. No, I was not. Oh, my uh, my husband, he took a picture of a, I said, what, a light-skinned bald girl? Yeah, of course. Oh, <laughs> so every light-skinned bald girl in the world is me. Now the same thing is the girl had a goddamn mask on. Oh, so the, she sent me the picture yeah. with the girl with a bald head and a mask on. right. So she's like, you don't think she looks like you? I can't see the girl's face. Right. But the point of the matter is, is that that's that's why I don't like looking like other people. But that's why I don't. You like, I don't know. When I watch top models, she always made people shave their head. I don't know how y'all get like. I don't know how y'all are received in the world. But I'm the person that, although some people may think I look unique or different or whatever, people come to me and she be like, you look like my my cousin, baby mother, Keith. And be like, what? Like <laughs> I used to get to that all the time. I used to get that. You know, I, I used to get okay, that. I used to get I that. I get it often. So. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. No, I've had people tell me I look like people, and I'd be like, I look like the person. I'd be like, stop playing. <laughs> That's what the girl said to me. The lady, she was like, she I don't was, look like I, you. I was like, no. She like, look at her eyes. I'm like, no. Those right. are not my eyes at all. They're completely different eyes. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what they're like, no. Like, dude, but like we that. both got a bald head. Like, right. that's what we're doing. We both the light skin with a bald head. So that's that's what people do. Yeah, right. <laughs> but that's what people do. It's just, you know, and that that's another thing about like the hair thing for me <laughs> is because I feel like you're not, you don't act, you're not looking at me then. Hmm. You don't look in my face. If you can't, like, I have a million different pictures with a million different hairstyles. Like, yeah. A whole bunch, right? My face doesn't change. I mean, I got older, of course, mm-hmm. but my face didn't change. Right. But people will be like, I did not know that was you. Oh, my God. I'm like, but if you look me in my eyes, if you look at my face. You're going to know it's you me. You see that it's me. Well, like, but with a ball, you know. They're so, just paying attention to that strong exact, look. But you're paying yeah. attention to all of the looks as opposed to me. Yeah. And that's something that, like, is that bothers me. That's troublesome sometimes. Mm-hmm. When I had long blonde dreads, that's. Your hair, oh my God. That's how everybody knew me. Right. So like right now, everybody knows me because I'm what? Because I'm bald. Yeah. But I have a whole face. You know what I'm exactly. saying? And my face is the same. And my my face is unique, I think. But I guess that's how some girls feel with fat asses like, and, and certain shit. They, you know, everybody, they look the same. And I don't know. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. Yep. Kind of aggy. Yeah. Kind of aggy. Let me say this real quick. Um, somebody we were talking about the Chadwick Bozeman thing earlier, mm-hmm. right? And um, just like some concepts about colon cancer. Yeah. Ramzu was saying that to check your diet, and we talked about oh, one hundred percent. We talked about it's that a little connected. bit in the car a little yeah. earlier about yeah. the the fibroid and the whole situation. You know, all it's all certain things, things that black people are it. just not supposed to eat. I understand, like the meats and this. <clears throat> excuse me, that we can eat mm-hmm. some of that, but. I have no idea. I, I know. I have no idea. Um, Cause Rico Shit. back. Uh, <laughs> you need these motherfuckers. Right. The overflow was good. Um. Shit. What was I gonna say? Oh, but I was gonna say this about Chadwick Boseman, right? Since you just say his name, that, um, you know, when you find so much more about people when they pass, yeah, and then you, but like, dang, I wish I would have known this. But you can't always say that. So many people in the world. There's so many celebrities in the world. You know, I really don't, I don't even really watch movies really like that. It has to really, I got to really want to watch a movie. I used to be a movie buff and then I stopped being one. When I, to me, the movies just were not good. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm like a person that could point out every flaw in an actor. Like, oh, he didn't do that part. I'm like, I like when he did that. Some actors, actresses I really like. Like when you talk about like the white ones or whatever, I love Mel Streep. Oh, yeah. She's you know? Sad. I love her. She's just... Well, she, Meryl Streep is a, a Oscar winning, elite. award winning but actress. Viola so, Davis. Yeah. She's too. She's an EGOT as mm-hmm. well. But they are just... You look at... They're not... What? Sarah Jessica Parker? Parker? They all, they're all, all white. white. <laughs> what yeah. the f- she, all four of the main characters are white. Yeah, no. She's a good Sarah actress, Jessica but Parker. she's not... Hey, Paris. What's going on? Um, yeah. she's, she's a good actress. She's a good actress. But I'm talking about uh, Jack Nicholson type acting. Yeah, exactly. You know... When, he he's I mean, he's he's a whole different human being when he acts. He morphs into something else. That's not even acting. He becomes, 
you know, even when I was taking classes. Method acting. Met, yeah, they just, they become, they embody this character. Um, just like the guy who did, uh, you, well, Jack Nicholson played the Joker as well. As, mm-hmm. and, and and who's the other? Keith. Oh, the last one? Uh, Keith, um, he, he died. He died. I can't think of Keith it. Heth, Keith Ledger. Keith. Heath Ledger. There yeah. you go. Phenom- it's, it's scary. You got to pause him sometimes. Like, you know what? I got to digest this. And you just start looking at the person. That's what they were saying. He was like a method actor. So yeah. Like, yeah. But um, but Chad Bozeman was amazing. Yeah. No, he's outstanding. He and you see the connection. Beautiful soul. You saw the connection between him and Denzel. Like, are we oh, reading that's, these That's what made it's me be like, like wow. wow. Yeah. It's so He deep. paved. Oh, okay. Yes, so yes, yes. Deep. Here I go. Here I go. Okay. So, everything that we're talking about with like, okay, when I woke up with my aha moment saying, these are the people that I'm creating. These are the, these are the circles that I want in my life. So everything was just in my face. Denzel, how he saw something. Oh, I'm about to cry. How he saw something in someone. That is my level of love for people. And I'm not saying everybody, everybody's not at a place where they can love like that because they're too scared. I get it. A lot of people have been so fucking hurt. They don't understand how to love like that. You know what I'm saying? And these are the people that have been in my life. They just don't. They haven't grown up in a house where they had to share. So they don't really know how to be um, giving. They, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about things. You could be given a thought. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, um, they don't know how to... I'm constantly always thinking of others. You know, And I'm not saying somebody has to be like that, but that's just who I am. Mm-hmm. And after what I'm saying is, I, I want that to be reciprocated. I don't want to do something for something, but I want to know that people think like me. Because a person that kind of is like-minded, mm-hmm. you understand what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about word, but like-minded, they're probably not going to hurt you. They're this probably the, not gonna. And this is the the, the oh, tale. Like my bad. The tale yeah. as old as Tom right there mm-hmm. is wanting people to treat you the way you treat them, and like, that's why that's, you put that out in the world. But a, I, yeah. I, energy, energy. So I've been. Th- I think this is the things that have been leading up. So when I when I said okay, the cutoff, the endings, right? This is what I've been saying. The endings. So I saw I saw something. Then uh, the news was talking about Chad Bozeman and how the connection, how Denzel saw something in him and mm-hmm. um, paid for his college because he saw something in him. That's how I feel about Naeem Not Boston. college, just like a little uh, pro- summer program. Oh, summer so program. Know, a summer okay. program at Okay, Oxford, my bad. Not college. Right, because he saw something <laughs> yes, that didn't even that really part. know him, mm-hmm. right? And that's how I felt about um, Naeem Austin. I'm like, yo, if I get to this real money pot, this kid has something that's so amazing. Yeah. I'm going to invest in him. I mm-hmm. promise, I don't care if I, it's never going to be a loss. Not when it's coming from the place I'm, I'm coming. I'm giving something, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, now, though, with all that being said, um, now I'm seeing it. You know, I'm, I'm seeing it. I, I'm, I'm seeing it. You and it's just... A, what, reciprocity? I'm seeing people that think like that, that are more about... Even when I don't know them. So, when I, you know what I'm saying? So, they're being created. I see them in the baby stages, like even in my group. These are strangers, right? And... Um, I'm seeing it. Like, no, nah, I mean, you deserve, no, nah, you do good, do, you do good, you're doing good in the group or whatever. And I don't even look for anything. I really don't. But because I don't look for anything, because where my heart is, God, the universe is, it's, it's coming full circle, you know? And that's why I say, whatever is mine is not mine, it's yours. Because I'm gonna, I'm never gonna lack. You understand what I'm saying? And I think if you continuously hold on, you're gonna lack. I find the pe- people that got more money than me borrow money from me. That's the law of attraction. You just yeah. have to be able to let yeah. things go. You have to be able to let things go in order to get them back. It's the butterfly thing. You let yeah. a butterfly go, if it returns, it, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's that thing. So, um, yeah. yeah, to see it coming through fruition and uh, just, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful mm-hmm. thing. Um, you never know. I've always, but this is the thing. Let me tell you something about me. I've been putting it out since I've been nine years old. My best friends will tell you that I've always been that type of person. And even them, they have been selfish. And I don't need it back in the same way. I was talking, I reconnected with one of my old best friends. Um, something tragic happened. And she's just one of these girls that no matter how many, we could stop speaking to each other for four years, we always return back to each other. Yeah. But we have an unconditional love for each other. Mm-hmm. You don't get, when you get somebody like that in your life, you it's, it's hard. Everybody not just going to love you like that. It's not supposed to, right? And, um, you know, I'm not going to say why something tragic in her family, but um, 
I don't want to talk about it too much right now. It's all good. But that yeah. but that kind of goes back to like what I was saying earlier in terms of you're not going to have whole entire droves of people oh, that right. are like that. Right. It's going to Just be my core. a select few in a core group of people that are actually going to have your best interest sure. at heart. Those and are months I'm really worried a, about. Yeah. And it's I ain't a, about it's nobody a else. blessing and it's wonderful that, you know, we put out energy for the whole world to be wonderful. But that doesn't mean mean that that's what you're going to get in return. It's not reciprocity all the time. It's a lot of times of putting things out and then draining yourself, right? And not having any more to fill yourself up because you're oh, yeah. giving to everybody else. That's the ending. And then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then, then that's normally when we start to realize that, hey, we don't, I'm not, this isn't reciprocal. I'm not getting back what I'm putting out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's normally once we're already drained and depleted that you realize that I'm putting out more than what I'm getting back. And um, I mean, sometimes that's necessary for people. But this places, is the thing. It's, you know? it's where we put it. That's yeah. my thing. I'm not pouring my... If I'm... Listen, I feel good if I'm... And I can't wait to start doing it again. I feel good pouring into people that even if they can't reciprocate in that way, let's say kids, right? Young girls, teenage girls or whatever. Because what's reciprocated back from me it's just their smile and how they feel. Well, that's different. Okay, no, no. Hold on. This is what I'm saying. So this is where I'm directing my stuff to now. This is why I was talking about the cutoff because I was around, I was in a situation where I was around a group of people. This is, this. we're going to go here now. And I'm going to be so fucking honest and I don't give a fuck, right? Because I'm always holding back. I have a certain energy about me when I work in, work in certain rooms that I, that I get very insecure about. Very insecure. Even though some people could look at it as like it's good or whatever, I get very insecure because I automatically know it's going to be a lot of motherfuckers in this room that's not going to feel it because they don't feel they self. It's not even so much personal. It's so them. Mm -hmm. But I get so uh, fucking annoyed because I deserve a good fucking time. I, I, I'm i tired of being on all the fucking time. So then I go to a place with all my good intentions and all my happiness. And you got a couple of fucking strays all the time with their insecure. And I don't want to see you. But I can't help it because of who I am. And I'm not going there looking. I fucking pick up on it. So here I am automatically now. I Let me let me help raise the energy. Let me make them feel secure. Not even knowing it's subconsciously where I'm going to laugh a little louder. I'm like, oh, hey, girl, your shoes are nice. I no longer... Do that. Good. I don't give a fuck Good about girl. how you feel within yourself about me. Good. Look at it and eat it all fucking up because it's going to be in your face. I have a show off spirit that I can't, that I cannot um, control. When I walk into a room, that bitch jumps out. Hey, everybody, if you don't like it, move the fuck aside. Mm -hmm. I'm not with it no more at the age I am in my life no more. I won't tolerate it. I won't deal with it. So we could go back to, oh, I thought she was bougie. I'm all of those things. If that's what I am in your head, I'm that. And I'm not here to correct you. What? And, right. <laughs> shut up. Rico, shut up. But I'm that, and I claim it because I just, you see the person, you're like, hey, and they're like, oh, hey. and it's the smile is so fake. And it's like, because see, the thing is, sometimes it's, it's hard for me to have a gray. I'm black or I'm white, and I work on myself so hard to not be that. I, I get mad sometimes because I be thinking, like, do people really know who the fuck, like, stop playing with me. Do you? Okay, let me just fall back. Like, seriously, because I don't want to come out. Because when I come out, my character is so nasty. But the blessing in all of this is that you realize that you are, you tend to adjust yourself differently. 100. When you see people reacting to you in that way. And that 100. you're no longer doing that. Yes. I see that. So, <laughs> so um, no, he posted questions up there. So, oh, I'm get he's just it. talking. Okay. So, um... Yes, we love you too. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's the most important yes. part of it all. And what will happen as you become better at doing that sure. is those people that are insecure and they're looking at you or giving you fake whatever, those people will also fall at the wayside as well. You oh, will yes, no longer yes. see them either yes. because they don't exist in your so experience true. any longer. The so more true. and more that you don't give a fuck is the more and more they will disappear. Yeah. So that's that's the key. Work in progress. Mm -hmm. And I think what happens is, um, I think what happens is I haven't put myself in a predicament like that in a long time. Yeah. I, I get invited a lot of places and I just, I don't go anymore. And even if they be like, well, Tamika, you know, you good with me because if somebody was to say, and it's not about saying or whatever the mm -hmm. energy, I, just, I don't want you doing that. I yeah. just, this is me. I decline. Right. My energy is, I you got to start. My presence is a present, bitch. When I come here, we're going to have a good fucking time. Mm -hmm. I'm good time. Let's go. We're ha I'm, a, I'm a girl's girl. I'm a guy's girl. What are we doing? <laughs> so your shit, I now don't need to be there. Like, like when you said the other week, like, I'm good with who I am. I don't need to show up. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't need to show up. I, I don't need to. I don't need to be there to make because if you feed off my, you'll be just fine without me. So I think what happened is I've been not secluding, but I I don't really sh- I don't really go out like that in those certain places. Yeah. And for the first time, I did, and it was just like it was, and it wasn't just one. It was like a lot. And it's like who? Are- it's just because you haven't been in a situation in a while, so you are co- you just aware of it more. I mean, no, it's just- I'm not aware of it more. It's annoying because I love people. I love. It's not like these new. It's like. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's people I know too. You understand? That's the annoying. Like, why? Why did you invite me then? Why? Well, not the. But why am I here mm-hmm. around this? Why? Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? If you're just gonna be fucking weird, like I don't got time for that. Um, yeah. So it's about endings. I, I'm. I've, I'm. I, it's ending. It's ended. It's ended. I don't know. It's just a weird fucking week, guys. Um, oh yeah, okay. damn already. Damn, what um, we talk about? Right, exactly. <laughs> we didn't talk about therapy. I was in. I was I'm my about to say, We ain't talk about nothing. Um, Rico, up, Rico. Ten Stacks on Instagram says, how can I keep putting out positivity even when people don't return it? Mm. And how do we know where to direct our energy? Mm. How do mm. I keep a positivity even when it's not like basically reciprocated? I think also because even ignoring people, like, like Sienna said, until a point where you're going to become this person where you don't even see it. Because people, what we said... Ignoring is an emotion as well. It's still an act. It's still basically a verb. You're physically or you're mentally not, you're conscious of not paying attention to somebody when you're ignoring them. When when it doesn't bother, you don't even really see it. You don't pick up on it. So it's like, I always say don't show up at certain places or don't always, don't be as accessible to people. That's where I am at in my life right now. Don't be as accessible to people anymore. I don't think you will feel that. I think, um... I can agree to that. I think that a part of it is um, distance. Hmm. But if you are, you know, not able to do that and like you work. still have to be a part, exactly, <laughs> like work, or oh, whatever, fuck. you know yeah, what I'm that's saying? that's my biggest and challenge. you still have to be a part of situations where um, you put out positivity and people don't, again, again, if we really understand the law of attraction, guys, yeah. like the real law of attraction is what you put out is what you get back. So now the difference is, is how long have you been putting that out? Mm-hmm. Because if you, I mean, yes, yeah, some of us have great manifestation power that you can say it right now and it never happens to you again or mm-hmm. today it's done or today it starts or whatever. Most of us do not. Most of us have a, this is the way um, I listen to Abraham Hicks and it's the way they explain it in terms of imagine all of the negative thoughts, negative uh, things you say, emotions, all that stuff, spew out an inky red mist Mm -hmm. every time you say it, every time you think it. So imagine right now the inky red mist that's around you. So how do we now dilute that inky red mist? It's not by... Um, it's by saying positive things. You have to put positive thoughts, positive words, positive right. actions in its place. So, but for a while, a, a inky red mist is not going to just dissipate instantaneously. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take some time for that to kind of, you know, go away. You yeah. know what I mean? To subdue in whatever way. So we have to be mindful of that, that yes, we, we got to understand that we're here right now and now we're going to pre-pave the way for the rest of everything as opposed to staying here with the inky red mist around us. So as you prepave, as you go further down the road of being positive, you will now connect with oh, more yes. people that are far more yes. positive. And those people... And that's happening. ...will fall at the wayside. You will yeah. not interact. You won't even attract them any longer. That's the point. You want to get to the place where you don't even attract people like that. But the only way you do that is by keeping... And they're going to still pop up. You just want to see it. And if they do pop up, that's just a... That's just a step one moment in your life again to reevaluate maybe, you know, my train of thought, my where, you know, because if you... Again, I don't know what people believe about the universal laws and if you really, truly follow them. Because if you really, truly follow them, it's always going to revert back to you and what you're doing and what you've done and how you thought and what you were thinking now. I know that with myself. So you got to be mindful of those things. That's how you get positive people around you is by being positive yourself, thinking positive thoughts. Yes. Being positive friends to other people. It's happening. That is the, mm-hmm. I just happened to see, it didn't, you know, I wasn't mad or upset, but it just was like, I guess what they say, you just got to pray for people or something like that. I don't know, but it is happening. And I'm so mad that it kind of a little bit, mm-hmm. um, oh, my dad. <laughs> He's so funny. You know, he just texts me. The VMA awards are on. Thanks, I'm gonna He's so cool, yo. My dad is so, and isn't, wait a minute, isn't Brandy and Monica tonight? 
What, the verses? August 31st, right? Tomorrow, then. What's today? Today's the 30th. I cannot. Oh, I can't wait to talk about that next week. Really? Oh, my gosh. Shining. Yes, because I'm such a, um, I'm such, listen, I love Monica's my best friend, but I'm like a Brandy. No. I'm a Brandy girl. No, I love Brandy. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm no, I'm a super Brandy girl. Through. I love I'm Monica, too. <laughs> yeah, Monica. Yeah, Monica would be like my best friend. In my head, and Brandy would be like somebody I'm cool with, but like I go, I support her cause and stuff like that. But I relate more to Monica. I'm like such a Monica girl. But Monica ain't got more hits than Brandy. Brandy got, no. Brandy got bangers. Yeah, Brandy got bangers. Monica gonna come through with some shit. Um, but yeah, Brandy got. Wait, let me read this. Bangers. Paul Anderson Michael on Facebook says, "Only reason why people bring negative energy out of you is because you think they should act a certain way." Hmm. Interesting. Um, yes and no. Yes and no. I want to say yes and no. I'm going to tell you why. I'm a, they don't bring negative. No, I'm going to tell you why. Um, yeah, expectations. I agree yeah. with that. That's what happens afterwards when it, yeah, when it kind of pisses me off because, um, especially when I, if I know it's directed to me, like somebody could, everybody shit doesn't bother me. And it's not all the time. I, they got me this, not they got me, but it happened this one time. I'm so fucking human, you know? Um, but, um, I think the ex, uh, yes, I'll say yes as far as, the expectations, I guess, will be a little disappointing. However, I have nothing when I first step into a room or nothing like that. I don't... I, my, my intentions and everything is good. And it takes a long time. It's not time. necessarily the fact that well, the intentions, it's more like, again, remember we just talked about the inky, the, the red inky mist that's around you. Don't so, fuck with me. How about that? Do it <laughs> that's why I'm at with it. Yes, no, Don't fuck fine. with me. That's don't fine. fuck with me. But I think that's, that's why I'm at. Because I know saying, all I that what he's that's saying. what he's saying in yeah. that respect is that it's not the expectation that you walked in like, oh, people are going to not fuck with me or whatever it's it is. It's not even... It's just... Yeah. Some, it may be mm -hmm. just a a thought that's still in the back of your mind. And then, of course... You know what I mean? No, like, even if I get that. Maybe in, before, you know but for saying? me, I'm telling you, for me personally, I whack people are annoying. <laughs> yes. You know, and especially when you reach a certain age in your life. And I just... Right. I don't... I'm just with it. Here I am right now. I just don't like whack people. And it's not about, for me, the way I think that they should be. I know the outcome or whatever. And, you know, there's some people in this world that can no ignore every single thing. There's some people that are fucking mimes. Okay, I don't even know if they have a goddamn emotion. Mm -hmm. So, because some of this stuff that you're taught, depending on what you're reading, you damn near won't have an emotion. I want, I'm good with my emotions. I love that, you know, but um, it doesn't negate the fact that people are whack. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, you get, you get, you get I don't want to be trapped in a room of whackness, I guess. Well, yeah. <laughs> and you would never be trapped in a room of whackness, right? Because that's what you attract. Do you attract rooms of whackness? Never. Well, there you go. But you can't you can't avoid them either. I mean, well... You can't avoid them you, all the time. The words that you're saying, I mean... If I'm at work, I can't avoid a whack person. If I'm at a corporate job that I've been at for 10 you, years... But are I can't you going to be there forever? Is this something place that you want to be? I'm talking about now. I can't talk I, about the future. No, I know. But the, <laughs> but it is now. So you have to prepay for what it is that you want in the future. I can't And you it. just said you can't. You know what I'm saying? So All right, I won't like, say can't. I don't like. Put it that way. Like, I don't want to use the word can't. I don't like what, that word. And that's not what I don't enjoy. you're going to have in I don't the future. Enjoy. That's not what you have. You know what I'm saying? Even even in the space, it could be you you are in a space of people that you get along with. Yeah. That's just what your attitude has to be, even in the 10-year job, even in the 10-year marriage, even with your kid, even with I the person. I guess this is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Nine times out of 10, I'm that person. I can go to a place. I can mm -hmm. ignore it. All right, but even a person like me, Gets fucking annoyed sometimes. Yeah. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. I show up and I ignore. I've been doing that shit since I've been in fucking mm -hmm, high school. Mm -hmm. Trust me. That one percent. Give me mine. Let me feel that fucking emotion for a second. Not, that's not to nobody. But that one percent. I don't want to. I don't even need a therapist on that. It's okay for me to grow through that feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because I am that person. You get fucking. I don't want to be that person today. You might catch me in a day where I might give you feed that same shit back to mm -hmm. you, and I and you're not gonna fuck me up for the rest of my. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But whatever. No, I, guys, it's been a kind of rough week. You know, I use it as hell. But Jasma <laughs> says on Facebook, Jasma. "How do you pull yourself out of a negative space mentally?" Well, you should have a toolbox of things that you do or you have that can help you to come out of those things. At this oh, yeah. point, as an adult, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. So I'll say for me. Um, things that I do definitely outside nature is a huge huge help for me yeah I'm a tree hugger like all the way in real life a tree hugger not just a saying that like I physically do it because it's important yeah <laughs> so there's that just 
admiring beauty outside, nature, sure. taking in the sunlight or the moon or whatever it is, definitely that. Um, I listen to tons and tons and tons and tons of like self-help type of people, I would say. So normally if I feel down or I'm feeling away negative, I go to my toolkit of these people that I know can give me a different perspective or a better outlook on what it is that I am. And then sometimes I'm just negative. Yeah. <laughs> at yeah. the time like like you said sometimes yeah. you can get it and it's yeah. just like that and it's okay that's not it's nothing wrong with you if you're yeah. upset or angry or sad it's just how long do you want to stay in that space is the key that's what it you is you know what I mean and, 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 and it's okay to use your throat chakras yeah. sometimes to say to speak you for good? yourself yeah, yeah. Say what and, you and say. I just want to say this for everybody that's listening that even in that situation, I still showed up. You feel what I'm saying? I still, I peeped it. And I still was, hey, girl. you know, you, where I was and where I connected and where I sat, whatever, was at that group of people. Mm -hmm. I knew, it's like my energy was like, Ooh, let's say it was 10 tables. I knew to go right to that table. And yeah. I had a pop in time. Right. But feeling that energy, I, listen, when you really are able to, it's hard. It's like, you know, how I, I compare it to people who say that they can um, pick up on dead spirits. Mm -hmm. And they go crazy because they constantly hear it and they cannot turn it off all the time. Mm -hmm. Not people that just coming up with this new thing. My daddy been telling me since I've been nine years old. I knew what the word empath was when I was nine years old. It's not a new thing for me, phenomenon, like entanglement and all these new words that come out <laughs> with people. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, you have to really block. And that's why I'm so, sometimes I want to go to so many places that have fun, but I don't, I have I to work like that energy. much harder. It's yeah, a lot I of just, energy. Right. So I'll, I I'll go to, and we've talked about this. I'll say it from, I know this is probably not going to be an, a highly accepted thing to say or yeah. even looked at as like, okay to say, but I've definitely been on the other side of that where I felt um, maybe insecure around a woman. You know what I'm saying? A different, another woman or even a friend. Yeah. And for me, sometimes I don't want to put that type of energy out in terms of dealing with my insecurity and how I feel at the moment and working through that in my mind. So yeah. I don't go. You know what I mean? Like there's that's a... Dope. That's I mean, I'm just saying I, because I understand that about myself. Yeah. Like I know who I am. I know how I think and I know how I can be in certain situations and I don't want to have to monitor all of that all the time. For sure. So sometimes it's best for me not to go. Sometimes... Sure. And that's not the only reason I don't want to go someplace, y'all. Right, right, Just say that right, right now. Because right, right. I know the world, child. No, but this is a transparent saying, show. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying at times yeah I feel I feel that way and if it's not best for me to be there or to be around or whatever at the moment yeah it's just the best you know like if somebody's depressed it's just not the time to go out at the moment probably oh yeah, yeah. you know what I mean because yeah. you probably will bring other people into that energy even yeah. if you don't want to or you're not meaning to oh my you know goodness what I mean? that, so I'm so like, mad this show's nah. going over mm -hmm. because I had, to, I had to piggyback off of that but I know say it now say it okay really quick so when I'm Okay, so one time I had a, uh, a birthday dinner. I tried doing every year. And about the one I had maybe two years ago, this girl who I consider her as like a BF. I don't know. I don't like those labels, but we're really, mm -hmm. I'll say soul sisters, right? Close, right? And how we got close was, right, If the way I looked at something. She came to my, my birthday dinner. It was my final, like, to me coming out. Mm -hmm. I wasn't with the guy I was with for 13 and a half years. Mm -hmm. I finally was starting to do things that I like to do. I had the radio show, all the other mm -hmm. stuff. And one of the girls showed up. And immediately, I picked up on like, oh gosh, what's wrong with her? Because I still want everybody to have fun. Mm -hmm. Is that my dinner? Da, da, da. And she got into a big fight with her boyfriend at the time, like physical fight. And I'm thinking to myself, why would she, just the first thought. Why would she what? come here? Why would you come here? Because now I'm going to make it about you. Like, are you good? Are you And that's unfair. It really is about me. This is my one day in the year to say F everybody else and about me. But then I flipped the sheet. So I sat there. We had a good time. I'm like, you okay? And I'm trying to ignore it, but still my heart and I'm still trying to have a good time, whatever. Long story short, um, when I looked, when I looked uh, at her and I, I checked myself afterwards because mm -hmm. she gave me a gift. She was so happy to see me and I finally called her. We chilled and I said, I want to have a talk with you, you know, and I go, um, I just want to ask you something. Why did you come to the party if you were like that? And I'm not mad at you. I want you to know that. But, you know, for me, I take on people's emotions as hard as that one day. And she said to me, all I wanted to do was show up for you. Oh, see, that's sweet. Wow. Mm -hmm. that That's what I'm talking, and, and me and her are so close. And from that, because yeah. she made me check myself. 
she just almost got her ass beat by her man mm-hmm. and she still wanted to show, up, show for up for me. For you, right? That's a fucking friend. Yo, you don't even have to. I would me, I would rather you not have done Word. and just get yourself just together. Get yourself together. I wouldn't have been offended. I That's, wouldn't have came. I wouldn't have came, but <laughs> I would have called you like, girl, I love you, but Absolutely. let me tell you what's at. What I wouldn't have been right. mad. Exactly. Hell no. Hell no. I would have been right. like, oh my. I'd have been mad at the fucking guy. Right. But on the flip side of that, because again, I would have I would not have came a little bit. Right. I probably wouldn't have came if I ain't had a fucked up outfit. Like, no, I'm just, no. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying. No. Um, if I don't got a haircut, it ain't happening. Girl, like, yeah, this right the party. Now. I can't I'm be coming here looking like hat, shit. Something. If I can't figure out a hat, <laughs> nigga, I ain't coming. I'm like, no, right. now. Right. <laughs> I don't have any new ones. I throw all my old stuff out. I don't yeah. like them. I don't keep them. No. Yeah, but um, but anyway, it did make me look at that in the flip side. And and it was a um woman, okay. And it was a I talked about that in my life. It was a lady, little Spanish lady that always cleans up, blah, 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 blah. And she had a she was selling face masks for her friend. And, mm. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like I'm seeing that it's gonna be okay. Cause yeah. I, I I am a little scared of friendship sometimes. That's okay. With it's not that I'm afraid. Of, I'm glad that no, you're I afraid am. of friendship. I am. I'm only saying that because when you said it, I'm trying to think like, am I afraid of friendship? Yeah. I'm totally not afraid of friendship. I just yeah. don't like a lot of people. Yeah. So like around me all the time, yeah. I have a select group of friends that I really fuck with and I love. Yes, my daughter. And there's only very like, you know, a couple of people here and there. I'll say there's been very few implants. Yeah. Since since my core group, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. Speaking of my core group, let me say this real quick. Shouts out to Immaculate Conception High School, um, <laughs> class of 2001. We did a little mini uh, reunion on Zoom. That's yesterday. what I saw. That's, That's what, what I saw. saw. I went yeah. to Atlanta for something else. You all will know about that soon. But <laughs> not right now. But yes. So shouts out to IC01. That's my class. I'm coming up on 20 years next year of wow. high school, being out of high school. I can't believe it. I know. Hey. We're so like, we were just talking about being old, but we're, you know, we're, not, we're not old oh, yet. Wait, this is the new, new baby. Okay, so we're wrapping up. Hey guys, yeah. it's been an um, eventful week. Um, I guess today it's just about, listen, endings, right? Endings and being That's able to- That's what this is for this whole year, girl. Oh, this whole year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm totally, and, and accept it. And don't be scared of how big the person is, how long you've known. The, don't hold on to any of those no. things. Um, those things are just an illusion. You know what I'm saying? It, time has passed and um, um, it's time to elevate and new doors are being opened, baby. That's what endings mean. You have to remember that, guys. Yeah. I'm a nine. That's my that's my life path number. Yeah. I'm a Capricorn. All we embody is endings and underworld and yeah. death. And that's a beautiful thing. You have to yeah. understand that. Like, don't ever be afraid of darkness. Don't ever be afraid of endings because trust and believe that mm-hmm. there's light right around the corner and a new door is opening. Always, always know that we are necessary to go through those times where you're being buried in the soil. It's necessary. Necessary for life, yeah. trust. And yes, yeah, so we're gonna wrap this up. And I would say, what Cena said, I'm about her life path number. <laughs> I'm an eleven. I, and if anybody wants to know their life path number, hit me up. I know how to do it. And trust me, you will discover so much more yeah. about yourself. So if you want to know your life path number, you can inbox me. Okay, guys, thank you so much for always coming through. Word. I'm the moosh to her. Boosh. Hey, that's what I was supposed to say. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right on top.